Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Marco for your perfume, this is episode number 19, thank you back, thank you back, I really appreciate it. So, today we're going to talk about 8081 by Chiruti, don't forget to subscribe, to like, tap the bell, so you'll be informed every time there's a new release, and of course share. Okay, so on this episode 19, today we're going to review, in my opinion, a beautiful fougere. You know how I like my fougere. EDT concentration, Nino Ceruti 8081. I really like it. I really like it. And at the end of the video, we're going to compare it with the more expensive perfume that I discovered recent, recently. So be patient and you will be uh, satisfied. Watch it until the end, please. Please, again... After you subscribe, like and comment and tap the bell, don't forget to write comment, it's very important. So I remind you that Nino Ceruti is a designer perfume, okay, located in France, once it was in Italy, okay. Uh, you have, this brand has a few good perfume, both for men and women in general, for a very attractive price, okay. So this company, designer perfume, uh, was created in 1967 and moved to Paris. It was created uh, in Italy. Okay, the name was given 8081 after the grandfather founded his textile company in Italy. So as you see, this quality bottle that I purchased online for only 25 euros, which is around 30 dollars. Okay, it's frosted, it's cloudy, it's 3D printed. I really like it. I really like it. It's quite light. The cup is a little bit light, also plasticky, but I don't care. The juice, we're going to talk about the juice today, okay? So, uh, it's a classical bottle. It has a vintage feel. Of course, it was created in the 90s, to be precise, 1990. The atomizer is very good, as you see. Very good atomizer. Oh, I like I like fougeres, I like fougere. And it's transparent so you can see how much left in the bottle, which is quite important for some person. Okay, oh wow, 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 wow. This was reformulated a few times, and especially this one, but I don't see a major difference except maybe the longevity because uh, the original was with oak moss, and as you, as you know, oak moss is a little bit forbidden those days because something like less or two percent of the population got skin reaction to it so it's understandable this one of course oak moss accord okay due to the regulation again yeah it's much more modern also wearable version less in your face like many reformulation The perfumer behind it is Martin Gras. The perfumer is Martin Gras, quite a famous one. Uh, the category or genre of this one is a very fresh aromatic fougere, as I like them, you know. The note, in the opening, you got bergamot, of course, lavender, a little bit bitter, uh, cypress, chypre, a little bit bitter, not so much. Note. Uh, carnation and a very sweet uh, juniper yeah that's the the scent and the note that I felt now uh, sweet juniper not too much a little bit it's not really a sweet one this one galbanum elemi and resin in the middle note you got floral note like um, ylang ylang lily of the valley rose and then you have also cassia and vetiver and on the base note, or what you got on the dry down, you got, of course, pepper, like a light pine tree, oak moss, accord, patchouli, cedar, and musk. And even sandalwood make the backbone of this fragrance. I enjoy the opening, but I really also enjoy the dry down. 8081, it's perfect for me. What it remind me of? Uh, it reminds me of Boucheron pour Homme that I discovered recently. I didn't know this, this one. Uh, I was in a perfumery and 
Suddenly, I just sniff a few perfume and boucheron pour homme. I, I sniff it and sniff it and I, and I think it reminds me something. And this one, I, I, every two years, I order this one. So, and then it's suddenly my, my coin fall and I say, oh yeah, that's it. It's identical. 85% identical, something like that. Even maybe 90%, okay? Oh, it's perfect. It's fresh. I really like this freshness. Not all of Fougère are well-rounded. Somehow I knew a few brands that make it more bitter and aggressive. This one has a good balance. Oh yeah, and it reminds me also of another one, of course, Eau Sauvage by, by Christian Dior for men. 80% identical. And for this, aromatic fougère to, to last at least five to six hours you need seven sprays five on your body two on your shirt okay so the projection here is a little bit medium around an hour not more the sillage is very soft mildly if we can see the note I will give on 8081 by Chewuti EDT is seven out of ten for its gorgeous scent, for its refreshing scent, for its barbershop type, not in a bad way, scent. It's elegant, sophisticated, and also because it's an all season, you can wear this on all season. All occasion, all occasion, you can wear it for everything and for old ages, the demography, all ages. If you're younger than 30 just be light on the trigger like four or five it will last a little bit less but then it will be more less in your face but it's not really aggressive this one okay so it is seductive also energetic every time i wear it i feel punchy i feel i'm start my day with this one i go out of the shower and spray it directly this is my type of fougere that i like i really like it so I remind you, never judge a perfume at the last, at the first sniff. Give it five tries, and then you will see if you appreciate it or not. For those who don't like fougère, of course, it's not a must. So the note again, seven out of ten. So should you buy it? Should you consider it? Or should you avoid it? I think if you like Fougère, you should go buy it, especially for those kind of price, 25 euros, $30 US. Come on, it's a bargain.